student, welcome back to our healing. Then we are continuing our topic on the violin, practical aspects on how to play violin. Oh, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Then we are looking at the pattern of the playing of the violin. Last week we talked about the major line, which you can easily get from your sofa notations. Tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. For this, today, we are going to look at how we can easily create a simple song with the distance you have. When you start from P, the next one we are told is we will be L, G, A, and B. A, this will be B, C, D, and what, and L. D, E, L, G, this will be A. G, A, B, C, D, so on and so forth. So we are going to play about two or three scales. Then I will show you the scale patterns and the diagram of the violin. But when we play about two or three scales, you must follow the pattern of loaded. That is the work. Now we are going to do it very simple. But before then, let us look at the major scale we have. On this platform of major scale, we have C major, we have G major, D major, all the scales are all written. And the scales are just do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, on C, on G, and so on and so forth. So allow me to play C major scale first. As you can see it on this C major scale, then it will be from C. Now, you are not going to touch your, your violin on C, like I told you last week. Where is our C? When we watch from this angle, you have A here, B, then C starts from here. Then you have your C, which is your Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. I'm going to do it right away now. Look at the violin now. This is my C. On the C. That is K. The first C. Then the D will be Ray. Then me. Is semitone. The saw is down of the do. Last down of the re. Then the T. That is on the major scale on C. Then when, let's look at G now. Let's look at it. Let's run it again on G. Let's look at the art form. That is another key entirely now. So you can do that often until you play all the scales. So just look at the scale pattern. C, you see the way it goes. C, from C, you look at G, you look at D, so on and so forth. Work on that. So when you get one, when you get, when you start from one, the next one will be your re. When you start from D, this will be your re. This will be your mi. This will be your fa. Then that will be your sol, just the way we did last week. La. Then T and Do, it's as easy as that. If you start from your G from here, you have your Do, Re, Mi, Fa, so on and so forth. So I'm still going to play about two or three things. But let us look at the diagram of the violin itself. That is what we actually help you. Because the diagram of the violin shows the components of the violin. Not only that, shows the number and the alphabet of the strings. On this diagram, you have your E strings, you have your what, A strings, then you have your what, your D strings, and you add your G strings. So it's easy for you to take from here. Now, let me do something again so that you understand. When you start opening, this is an open string. The second open string is A. The third open string is what? Is your D. And the first open string is what? Your G. 
So if I want to start my open strings for my uh, for my E, I can say E is do. On the E open strings. Then, if I want to use A on the open strings, I open A. Thank you very much. Continue from here. 